on intelligently. Wouldn't you like that? Or would you like the mob? You know? Would you like Gay Byrne or Joe that. Duffy? Would you like Gay Byrne? And hello! And there's some guy. Hello! This is Jack from... Oh, my God, yeah, well, I mean, I don't spewing like out prejudice and ignorance. Well, we've got Arthur okay. Brett line too. Hello, Arthur. Hello. Well, can I go Hello? Yeah, now, just hang on a moment. Come back, uh, now. Arthur Brett, uh, you, you, want, you want to join the discussion. Hello, yes. Yeah. Uh, I agree with quite a lot Nell has said. Uh, I would also like to say that having listened to Eamon Dunphy on the ear for the last half hour, waffling, how dare he call me a member of a mob? How dare he call me ignorant? I'm a human being. Nobody has a right to call me ignorant. How dare he appear or come on to a show, uh, show and appear as if on air he has drink and heavily drink taken. <laughs> now, I say that, appear on air. The man is the most ignorant man I would imagine put in the face of the earth. And I think I have a right as a human being in this country who is a national coach of another sport that he wouldn't know his ass from his elbow about. And he comes on and tries Which to tell me... Which sport is that, Arthur? Table tennis. And That's you come very on good here. table tennis player as I haven't. Eamon, you wouldn't have a slim and clue about table tennis. Really? And you have the nerve to come on the air and tell me that I'm part of a mob who was followed soccer long before Jack Charlton, I might add, and who was followed soccer throughout the length and breadth of Europe with this Irish team and past Irish teams. And Don Givens was hitting three against Russia, my friend when you were trying to play football, when he, John Lee Giles happened to be a good footballer. What's, yes. your, what's your state? What do you do in table tennis? Are you a coach? I'm a national coach in table yeah. tennis. And how do you get to be a national I, coach, Arthur? Oh, no. by, by, a, by, by being a kiss like ass, that. baby. Sorry? How do you get to be a national coach? By applying myself to no, the sport. No, no, by, by understanding uh, power. Like, did John Giles become national coach or no, manager of the Irish? Exactly. Sorry, well, John Giles is a national coach no, in he, soccer. He, he couldn't yeah. handle it. He, was he, too he nice could handle it. John Giles could handle you it. couldn't, but you could, I say, Arthur. Right? But my point on you, you is... You power, don't you, Arthur? You'd be a national coach wherever, wouldn't you? Oh, no, you? I'm not a coward, Eamon. I Thank take you. you on in a public debate any day you like. Well, we're Rudeness <laughs> and ignorance is one of the things to be deplored in the Irish public. And you have and what shown have you done all to, of that tonight. What have you done to, to challenge it, Arthur? What have I done to challenge yeah. it? Yeah. Well, my friend, I teach children how to play table tennis. Yeah. I represent my country abroad. I will never, ever... You sound to me them. like an official Irishman, Arthur. No, I'm not an official Irishman. I think you are. Do you have a blazer with a big shamrock on it? No, my it? friend, I don't have a blazer with a shamrock on it. I How did you get to be a national foul coach, mouth. Arthur? Did I you also, kiss a mass? I also don't have a foul mouth on the radio like you do, my foul friend. Foul mouth? Using the F word, excuse me, I heard you. any word I want. You can, yes. Sometimes the F word is the only word. No, Eamon, it's not it. the only word. Oh, no, Jack you're Charlton. a sweetie pie, are you? Sorry, hold on Tell a second. Come on there, sweetie pie. Hold on. Tell Describe me about yourself as a sweetie pie, oh, are you? Right, Eamon. Sweetie pie. Right? Yeah, but I, I'm not I a real followed, sweetie pie. I have followed the Irish team and Jack Charlton. I didn't agree with at least four of the selection you put out the other night. Oh, didn't you? But I'm, I followed my Irish team. I followed the people I've supported uh, for years. Get up the yard. Right? You would have followed Hitler, baby, in no, my opinion. but I don't follow people you're a follower, the year basically, drunk aren't you? And trying to not drunk, the I'm as sober as a judge. But if you're as sober as a judge, I don't know how you can come on to use the What judge have in mind? I think about it, Arthur. Sorry? Why, how can you um, suggest... You see, this country's got to such a state that anyone who comes in and behaves in a normal way is actually... Assessed as drunk. Amen. You are you crazy. Not, Amen. Hold on. You what are you mad, said, man. You're, you're, you're off the wall. About the Irish public. I am as sober not, as a judge. You can be. And if I behave myself as a normal person would in this. Amen. Person. You're not normal. What you said about the Irish public is not normal. I take You don't know what I said. You can't read, Arthur. I take exception to be called. I think you're drunk. And being ignorant. Uh, Arthur, yeah, I think you're drunk. Hardly when I'm on a mobile phone driving a car in a car with just stopping the side of the road. Oh, I haven't got a mobile phone. Have you no, no women, and you but I'm hoping you some guy either. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a car. No, because you were taken no. off the road. That's, That's right. right. Why was I taken off the road? Arthur? Because you were drunk behind a wheel, Eamon, with no license. And what do I you think of people like I that, Arthur? Excuse me, Eamon. <laughs> what do you think of that? I have information about you than you think, right? And I'm a little bit knowledgeable about the Irish game. Are you? What about yeah. my skeletons in my cupboard, Arthur? I'd say there's a lot of skeletons in your cupboard, Eamon. Would you? But you have no right to come on the radio. On a good program like night. FM and have get the up. nerve you're never going to get your own show in this program and have the nerve to call us ignorant 
Nobody does that. I think Nobody you, has the right to do that. I think what you know about football could be written on the back of a post Okay, stamp you test me, my friend. Vincent? You test me. Vincent? Yes, yes, now, yeah. Vincent, this is, this Vincent. Like, this is like listening to a bull being baited, so I'm, I'm going to go off there. Can I wish oh, you no, no, stop that. Oh, no, go away. I'm going, Eamon. Good luck to you, dear. Bye-bye. Ooh. Okay, uh, uh, Arthur, do you want to finish the conversation? And we no, I'd like to, to, to challenge him. He says I know nothing about football. I can tell him about Irish teams for the last 20 break. years. And I went as a loyal supporter of the Irish team. All right, can I ask good you... Good times and bad times. Can I ask you a question, time, Damon? Answer. Can I ask you a question? Right? Were you at Anfield? I was at Anfield. Okay. The way Jack set the team out to play was... Was a defensive way. No, but just let me ask you this question. With Jeff Kenner and um, Terry Phelan. Yes, defensive. He played Jeff Kenner in the wrong position. He should have played him at right back. Yeah. He should have played Gary Kelly right side of midfield or not at all. He shouldn't have played Terry Fielding when he had a left-sided midfielder, like Mark Kennedy. Right. right? So he should have played Ray Houghton, is an it, experienced player. Right. So it's legitimate to um, question the I told choices? You it is totally legitimate to question what okay. Jack did. Okay, Arthur. It is now. not legitimate to call the Irish public ignorant. It no, is I'm not legitimate to call me an ignorant part of a mob. I take exception to it, and I have every right to do so. I do not agree with the team Jack put out. Right. So, I will tell you the team I would put out. But do you not... I would put out, hold on, I would put out Alan Kelly in goal, yeah. Jeff Kennett right back, Paul and Phil in the middle. I'm sorry, Arthur, we've got to go for an ad break. Uh, we'll Arthur, be back after the news. We were sorry. getting on well. Yes, hey, you should be in bed. <laughs> well, I will in a few minutes. <laughs> no, you won't. I need you. This is my darkest hour. <laughs> Arthur, let go. John. <laughs> John. Yes, ben. Who do you think is an ignorant beast? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> John knows I'm not. John, I'm fighting a good fight, baby. <laughs> you know that, don't you? Yeah, I ain't winning. <laughs> Arthur is an asshole, John. <laughs> <laughs> is the table we have though? we have on another line one of the uh, uh, Ireland's best known uh, new soccer fans. He was also a fan of Eamon Dunphy for quite a while, Dermot Morgan. Good, good afternoon, good evening. Ha- hello, Dermot. Have you been following our program? I have indeed. It's at uh, it's called Rock and Roll Radio, Dermot. <laughs> it's very lively. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Careful, I, Dermot. Uh, good evening, Eamon. How are you? I, I I actually genuinely sorry I'm not down there because it sounds like a hell of a party. <laughs> Oh, it's a um, sobadine. Yeah, but I, um, I, I'm listening to it. I'm just thinking as a new Irish soccer fan, and my heart's frozen off down at Rovers this afternoon. And um, it, it was quite interesting because... Did you hear Arthur? Pardon? Did you hear I did, Arthur? I heard Arthur, yes. Is the coach that, of the Irish table tennis team. Well, it, it might be good if it became... A, maybe Jack will get the national table tennis coaching gig. Which Dan, but did you read Eamon's piece in the Sunday? I, I did, yeah. Year. What do you think of it? <laughs> well, um, I have to balance what I say first by saying that um, I was more concerned, really, about the uh, the suggestion at the uh, at, on the top of uh, the Tribune, in fact, this morning. Uh, My life is over, damn it. What? You remember the Tribune? It's uh, over. Told you. And, uh, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll never work for RTE. Another News and current affairs again. That's thirty pounds a year. That's gone. Down, you're down. Down. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I, mean, I, I, I think if, if you're getting sufficient kicking, you don't need any more from me. But I think the, the, the I, I do view that with some concern. The business about RTE, if they, um, the way it's well within their means to do that, um, uh, to, to keep aiming off the air. If it's true that they took a vote within the sports department that uh, Eamon would not go back on on, uh, on the panel. I, I just think that ju- that shows you how... how the only reason Eamon isn't on the panel is... Really the, the only reason Eamon isn't on the panel is mm. because the head of RT Sport, Tim O'Connor, had the effrontery to ring Eamon to complete a deal about him being on the panel to ring him from, <laughs> from Heathrow Airport. airport. <laughs> That's why Eamon isn't on the panel. No, yeah, I, I think there was some suggestion that, that Eamon might have um, I bl- been offered I a programme which was an offer which was then reneged on. Would that be correct? What's that? No. It was there some suggestion that Eamon was also offered um, some sort of other program which was uh, offer which was then reneged on. Damn it! Can I tell you? It's very simple. I'm, I'm listening. You have my ears and 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 those of other soccer fans. I dropped them. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's ever dropped. Damn them. What did you think of Eamon's piece? Yeah, this well, I mean, uh, okay. Moving on to it, I. Yeah. I, I think that Eamon can be very spiky with uh, with interviewers, as as the business with Miriam uh, O'Callaghan proves. Um, I, in an odd way, I mean, J- Jack and himself would seem to be suitable um, uh, media bedfellows in that respect, because uh, 
there's no question about it that Eamon uh, is not above a bit of hectoring himself. On to the football issue, if I may, for a second. The, uh, the One of the reasons I go to Rovers and UCD and places like that when I can is because I actually do see a bit of football. Uh, I sit down to watch Ireland, or I go out to watch Ireland, um, always with hope in my heart, to quote the song. But I, I don't enjoy, um, I must say, I don't enjoy the football that's played. Um, I, I wouldn't uh, take, take it from Jack Charlton for one second that he has brought us to championships by whatever means. But uh, it's time to move on. Um, and I, at the point I was making about watching Rovers this afternoon, even with the going extremely heavy and it's pissing wet, uh, they tried to play the ball no through the field. No bad language, please, don't. No, <laughs> Arsenal will be offended. I understand, I, start, I understand, Eamon, that you're doing the lingophone bollocks no. for this year. Is that true? No, no, we've decided. Oh, no, please, please, we've stop. Taken, stop. stop. No stop. more stop. Stop. four letter words or even seven letter words. Otherwise, Arsenal will drop his bat. Then you, might be, you, you, might be on, you might not be on RGA, Eamon, but I don't think Vince is going to be on this record. TV, <laughs> TV, you're going to be a millionaire when we get TV3, Chief. Me and you, right? <laughs> Chief, we'll kill him. We'll be too old. No, we won't. Uh, We're right. Morgan, in the current issue of Hot Press, you said yeah. the, the following about him and Dunphy. Yeah. It's very hard to parody Dunphy now because yeah. he's become such a parody of himself. That's correct. Yeah. I mean it very seriously. I thought yeah. that he... How do you know, John? I John, thought he's his, his article about divorce was a effing disgrace. Yeah. I thought it was the most whinging middle age miasma of yep. pure bollocks I've ever come across. That's correct. It really maddened me. Yep. I've always seen Dunphy as a national asset. Yep. He's a star turn. If TV3 are smart, they should sign him up because he will deliver ratings. However, his cries for attention, such as his, his attack on Heaney, and let's be... Con come back and, now, Lord, is forgiven. Let's be controversial piece of, before the divorce referendum were despicable. Yeah, I, I, despicable. I, I mean, I get... I thought the thing, I thought the, particularly the, uh, I mean, I don't care, I mean, I think some of the stuff he goes on with about um, Mary Robinson is risible. Uh, and it's the same risable, then. Uh, well, uh, they, no, I think you'll find it's risible, Eamon. Um, uh, they, they, that's received English. Yeah, I mean, but, um, you know, the, uh, you should I just do, I would say tell us a joke, Dermot, yeah. will you? <laughs> you never know with you, Eamon. Tell us and, a joke, uh, baby. Um, it was no, but, John Giles to sing, by the way. Uh, I think it's John Giles is going to sing. Eamon's filibustering now, isn't he? He's, he's, go on, go on, go on, Dermot, go on. Yes. Uh, no, but uh, the uh, uh, I, I thought, forgotten, I thought about the, you, the divorce referendum. Are you drunk, was. by the way? Pardon? Because Arthur is concerned about drink on radio. Are you drunk? No, I'm actually stoned. Right. Uh, Light to the bag, and I'm, I'm I'm pretty sober, unfortunately. And uh, I wish I was. Um, I tell you what, how's your show on Channel Four? Pardon? How's the show on Channel Four? It's going. It's flying, I, hate, I hated you on RTE, but I love you on Channel Four. RTE chiefs. Note the word the chiefs. Bosses, bosses. RTE chiefs. <laughs> have finished both of us, Sarah. How can you how can you pick on a man that's such RTE a man chiefs? Sarah, you I, can't I, pick on me. The you most cringing middle age you know miasma. <laughs> Dermot, you know I've why you can't get at me? Come on, damn it, Morgan. I don't, Stand up for yourself. I don't and care, Dermot. Defend this slur on Dunphy's character. Well, well, I don't well, care what no, you I'm, say I'm about me, Dermot. And one thing I'm very All proud. I care about is uh, that the beggars on Baggett Street <laughs> love me. And I love them. <laughs> I, I you know why I love them, Dermot? Because they, 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 they don't give interviews to I do have to say that I resent the second-class impressions. I've, by and large, given up doing impressions of Eamon because he's pretty good at himself. But I resent the second-class, the weak and the cheaper, the earth-class impressions of Eamon that have, that have turned up in ads recently and, and that's, that's particularly saddening by the way I haven't sued any of those advertising agents because they're not you know good why? enough Eamon they're not I good don't enough. give it I don't care <laughs> <laughs> if I did it you'd sue me because it's, it's pretty good uh, but, uh, but Jeremy, you would understand this hot press thing if he sincerely believes the things he wrote mm. he, he's, he's completely hypocritical and, mm. and very unself-aware and then you say, next time, I'll come off the fence and tell you what I really yeah, well, think. That was the joke line. Oh. Um, but, I mean, no, come I mean off what the does Eamon have to real. say? Eamon, what come do you have to say Come off the fence, Dermot, and tell us what you really half think. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, I never mixed it with an intellectual, Eamon. Um, well, would you, I mean, would you stand over that article about uh, that you, I will, why I will probably vote no? Would you yeah, stand over that article? Very much so. Yes, I, I thought it was I disgraceful. Would. I mean, uh, well, well, what what do you mean I just say one point before you, before you go on. I just, I do, I absolutely you defend your right to say what that. What do you call I, 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 I defend your right to say that ultimately, uh, utterly, but I, I, I disregard. Ultimately it. or I, utterly? Pardon? Ultimately or utterly? I, I, utterly was the one I went. Make for. your mind up. Yeah, oh, fair enough. You're not a man who stumbled on the ball yourself much. <laughs> well, come on, stumble on the what? This is your 15 minutes of fame, Dermot. I'm only doing this for Dermot O'Brien. <laughs> tell us. But uh, I mean, you still tell us what you tell us what you really feel about divorce, marital separation, and human suffering. I let you lead off. 
No, yeah, I think you have the floor. Uh, I, I, it's called I, the Noble I think Call. Article, uh, I, I, I think your article was was uh, was a cheap. Was Why? A cheap what was wrong with it? No, he was, I, I he was offering a view about divorce. Having reflected it, he believed that the social consequences of divorce would be deleterious, more deleterious than the the benefits. Deleterious of means bad, Dermot. Well, it, uh, I, <laughs> I, thanks a lot, Eamon. Um, it's no problem at all, actually, because um, as, as Arthur would tell you, if you can only get back in. <laughs> Having a good time. Where's the You're what, finished. What I about, if I was you, Darren, I'd hang up. Yeah. You're losing. No, no, I mean, hold on a second. If you want the cheap shots, I can play the cheap shots oh, too. What is your favourite word at the moment, I mean, Is it valedictory or does it. You've got to get some of those words to use once in a while. <laughs> you just have trouble with Roger's t- thesaurus. You've got to be very handy with it, I mean, Give it to yourself bit by bit because otherwise you're choking the damn thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, you, you, can't, you, you can't defend that article about divorce. It was despicable. I like that. Uh, it was looking for attention. Bad Johnny at the back of the class. I want attention. Uh, I'm Eamon Dunphy. Uh, look at me. I'll, I'll play with myself when, it's, when everybody else is saying the other thing. It's just it's a I form of classroom clown thing. It really is, Eamon. You know what I mean? Damn it. You're welcome you know to do it. It pays your bills. It, makes you, it keeps you in employment. Uh, good luck to you. But I mean, never you have not been never complain. You, you have not been consistent in your stuff, and and, and that's what I object. Mm. I, I actually enjoy reading, and I read you. Uh, I would say every Sunday. They say that, but uh, I, I, I try to agree with a lot of what you say. John, did you read Eamon's piece in divorce? Oh, no, I'm sure he didn't. I didn't see that one, Vincent. I, I, I don't get the end of every week. I only get it sometimes. You, know? <laughs> John, you are the ultimate diplomat. No, Is honestly, no, I didn't, I didn't. I didn't actually see the that one. The peace process would be revving along if you were in it, baby. What's <laughs> just wrong with the peace process? They don't have a funny merchant like you. You're the worst. You know that. Me. I, used to, I love you. You're the greatest man that I've ever met. But you're some diplomat. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Hey, John. They got to have another. They got to have another baby, John. I know. I know. I know. I was voting yeah, but, no, but but I, I, speaking to him over the years, I was surprised at that because I always thought he would vote uh, yes to divorce. I always wanted to vote yes until it came to a John. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. That's what I felt over the years. That's yeah. Right. There's a certain inconsistency there. Hello, we've got Desi Hyde on the line too. Hello, Desi. Hello, Des. Uh, hello, Vincent. Hey.